that's uh, heartbreaking to listen to. We heard from a couple of farm workers. They're very much shaken up and understandably so. They lost co-workers and some are back at work. They do essential work and have to provide for their families, but they say it's difficult. What happened there is something they're not going to forget. Me he sentido muy, muy mal, muy triste porque, porque yo hay días que, que es, I've felt really bad, really sad, days where I think it's not true, says a farm worker in Spanish who worked at one of the farms where seven people were shot and killed. We are not showing their faces and their voices are distorted to hide their identities. It was something really hard to see. They described seeing a body after the shooting happened, and they say they knew some of the victims, including two who were older. They say there was a language barrier, but they were always nice to each other. Nosotros nos sentimos como que nos queríamos mucho, ¿me entiende? Sí, ellos eran muy buenos con nosotros. We felt like we loved each other. They were good with us, they say. Since the shooting, the working and living conditions for people working on the farms have been top of mind. Another farm worker says they work hard, sometimes unloading boxes up to 30 pounds for a long period of time. Pero para el tiempo que yo llevaba, yo siento que, o el trabajo que yo hacía, siento que era muy mal pago. They say for the time they had working there and the work they did, they felt the pay wasn't great. Dr. Belinda Hernandez Arriaga is the founder of nonprofit Ayudando Latinos a Soñar, known as ALAS. She will be heading to Washington for President Biden's State of the Union. She's hoping to bring attention to farm workers. This is a national conversation. This is not just about Happen Bay. It is a national conversation about the disparities, the conditions, um, and the change that needs to happen for our farm worker community, who is the backbone of America. And the farm workers you heard from there, they didn't live directly on the farms, but they did talk about renting rooms and homes and paying a lot of money for those rooms. One said they make minimum wage, about $15. And like we mentioned, they are back at work. They say it's difficult, but one person said they are also the only ones who understand what they're going through. So they understand each other, Ryan.